Hello and welcome. Let's talk about postpartum hemorrhage. So, what does it mean by postpartum hemorrhage? Any amount of bleeding from or into the genital tract following the birth of the baby up to the end of the puperium, which adversely affects the general condition of the patient, evidenced by rising the pulse rate and falling blood pressure, is called postpartum hemorrhage. Blood loss about 500 ml in vaginal delivery, 1 liter in cesarean delivery, and 1.5 liter in cesarean hysterectomy. Incidence. The incidence is about 4 to 6% of all deliveries. Types include primary hemorrhage and secondary hemorrhage. Primary hemorrhage occurs within 24 hours following the birth of the baby, and in the majority, hemorrhage occurs within 2 hours following delivery. These are also of two types third stage hemorrhage, where bleeding occurs before expulsion of placenta, and true postpartum hemorrhage, where bleeding occurs subsequent to expulsion of placenta, which is the majority of case. Secondary hemorrhage occurs beyond 24 hours and within preparium also called delayed or late preparial hemorrhage. Now causes of primary PPH. It is ex expressed by four T's, the tone, atonicity, tissue, retained bits and blood clots, tissue, retained bits and blood clots, and trauma, genital tract injury, and thrombin coagulopathy. Atonic uterus, which is about 80%, grand multipara, over distension of the uterus in multiple pregnancy, polyhydramnios, and big baby. Malnutrition and anemia, antipartum hemorrhage, prolonged labor, anesthetic drugs like ethane, halothane or cyclopropane, malformation of the uterus, mismanaged third stage of labor and uterine fibroid. Traumatic, about 20%. Trauma to the genital tract during delivery like cervix, vagina, perineum, periurethral region, bleeding during CS, epigeo, tummy. Malutrient tissues due to bits of placenta, blood clots, which cause PPS due to imperfect uterine retraction. A thrombin or coagulopathy, which includes bleeding and coagulation disorder, health syndrome, IUD, abrasion placentia, and jaundice in pregnancy. Diagnosis and clinical features. Now, symptoms include poor vaginal bleeding with or without visible blood clot after the delivery of fetus. In majority, the vaginal bleeding is visible outside. Rarely, the bleeding is totally concealed as either vulva vaginal or blood ligament hematoma. The effect on bleeding depends on patient's hemoglobin level and any kind of bleeding disorders. Sometimes blood loss occurs so rapidly that the patient's death may occur within a few minutes. Now, signs. On general examination, patient is irritable or lethargic due to profound bleeding and shock. Face with pallor, sunken eyes, dry tongue, dry, cold and clammy skin with hypotension, tachycardia. Sometimes non-recordable BP with fever pulse may be found. Respiratory distress and tachypnea. Decreased urine output on even ERF due to profound bivalvulmic shock. On per abdominal examination in attending uterus, the uterus is found flabby and becomes hard and massaging. In traumatic case, uterus is well contracted or hard. In on per vaginal examination, active bleeding may be seen on inspection, clotted blood may be found, sign of restriction in the genital tract, a placenta which may be delivered or partially delivered. Now investigations. Blood grouping and RS typing, hemoglobin percentage, correlation profile, BT, CT, prothrombin time, and bedside clot observation test, ultrasonography for any remnant of placenta after settlement of patient or emergency basis. Prognosis Postpartum hemorrhage is one of the life threatening emergencies. The complications include shock, transfusion reaction, puperal sepsis, failing lactation, pulmonary embolism, thrombosis, thromboflavitis, and death. Lately, it may develop uh, CN syndrome and renal diabetes insipidus. Management Management of third issues of bleeding. Principles of treatment includes emptying the bladder, replacing the blood, and ensuring the effective hemostasis of traumatic bleeding and resuscitation. The management of the third issue of the bleeding is given here. And the control of the fundus, massage and make it hard, injection of methergine, instead NS drip with oxytocin, arrangement for blood transfusion, and catheterization. The placenta separated, extra the placenta out by control contraction, if not separated, manually will order GA and traumatic hemorrhage should be tackled by such source. Now, management of two PPH. General management, hospitalization, immediate resuscitation of the patient, call for extra help, open two IV channel for two whiteboard cannula, send blood for glove grouping and cross matching, hands for transfusion, give oxygen, electrolyte containing IV fluid should be given, catheterization. Now, specific management. Preparation of the abdomen if uterine atonic and uterine massage should be done, and use of the uretoric drug should be done. If it is atonic, expression of the uterus and uterine tamponade should be given. If it still remains atonic, surgical method should be applied like balance, compression suture, ligation of the uterine artery, ligation of the anterior division of uterine artery. If it is still atonic, 
total abdominal hysterectomy should be done. These are the pictures showing the surgical procedures. Now, secondary PPH. The causes include retained bits of cotyledon of membranes, infection and separation of slug over a deep cervical vessel and laceration, endometritis and some involution of the placenta side due to healing process, and secondary hemorrhage from cesarean section around region 10 to 14 days. Withdrawal bleeding following estrogen therapy for suppression of lactation and other rare causes like carcinoma of the cervix, placenta polyp, and infected fibroid. Treatment principle includes assessment of the amount of closing and displacement, find out the cause, and taking specific measures. Supportive therapy includes blood transfusion, antibiotics, and administration of methargy intramuscularly if uterine bleeding is seen. Conservative if the bleeding is slight and no apparent cause is detected, a careful watch for a period of 24 hours or so is done in the hospital. Active management includes written bits of cotyledon in membrane, expression of the uterus urgently under GA, and the products are removed by oboe forceps. General genital curity is done, ergometrin is given intramuscularly. Secondary PPS following CS, medical apparatomy, wound of cervical vaginal canal, hemostatic structure, and medical ligation of the interiac artery or main hysterectomy. Prevention There may be anti care like improvement of the healthy status of the woman, blood grouping placenta localization and all women with prior, with prior cesarean delivery must have their placenta site determined by ultrasound or MRI. Women with morbid adrenal ad placenta should be delivered by senior obstetrician. Intendental includes active management of the third case, expression of the uterine vaginal canal, observation for about 2 hours after delivery and during cesarean section, spontaneous separation and delivery of the placenta during birth loss. End of the topic.